In this video, I'm gonna go over Android Zero Touch, what it is, how it works, and what devices are certified for the program. In a future video, I'll dive into the console to help you guys understand how to actually use Android Zero Touch and integrate that with your MDM. So what is Android Zero Touch? Android Zero Touch automates the enrollment of a device into the MDM. If you're familiar with Apple DEP at all, it's a very similar experience. It's the idea of, I take a device like my Zebra TC51 here, I turn it on, I hit Wi-Fi, that device hands itself off to the MDM to enroll. That's it. Android Zero Touch has actually been around for a while. It was actually first introduced on the original Pixel on Android 7.1. The problem was there wasn't a lot of adoption there. There weren't many devices certified for the program, so it just really never took off. Fast forward to 2020, and we've got a lot of devices that are certified for the program, and a lot of people are asking, how do I utilize Android Zero Touch? So how does it actually work? First, we have to have an Android device that's on 8.0 or above. Like I mentioned, the original Pixel on 7.1 actually was able to do this, but there were no other devices that could, so really just stick with 8.0 and above. Secondly, you have to work with a reseller to create the portal for you. In order to create your account, you'll need a Google account associated with your corporate email. This cannot be a personal Gmail. I'll link below uh, steps from Google on how to associate your corporate email with a Google account. So once you have your Google account associated with your corporate email, hand that off to your reseller. Your reseller will need to create the portal for you. It's a very simple process, takes 10, 15 minutes or less. And once that portal is created, simply log in there, accept the T's and C's. And from there, you can start associating your devices with your EMM. So what devices are actually certified for Android Zero Touch? This is a really good question because not every Android device can be enrolled into the Zero Touch program. Like I mentioned previously, a device has to be at least 8.0 or above, but again, not every Android device can be enrolled. Uh, the best recommendation I have for you is actually Google's own public managed website where they consistently update that with all the certified devices for the program. Devices like the Zebra TC51, 52 are on there, the Google Pixel, the Spectral Inversities. There's a handful of devices, especially a lot of the newer devices are gonna be able to utilize this Zero Touch program. One thing that I'll point out here is, especially if you start doing some research around this is, you're gonna notice Samsung devices aren't part of Zero Touch. And I really don't see that changing. The reason why is Samsung actually has their own provisioning tool called Knox Mobile Enrollment. If you're looking to utilize a program like Android Zero Touch for Samsung devices, that's the program I'm gonna recommend you look into, Knox Mobile Enrollment. Very similar to what we're doing here, what we're talking about here uh, with Android Zero Touch. Same idea of opening a device, hitting Wi-Fi, and having the device provision itself. It's just for Samsung devices, they have their own tool to do so. So I hope that was uh, helpful for you in the future. Again, I'll have a video that will dive into the accounts and help you understand all the, all the different layers there. But I hope this gave you a really good understanding of what Android Zero Touch is and how we utilize that and what type of devices are part of this program. Have an awesome day.